Jews. I'm actually Jewish. But isn't, <laughs> isn't Judaism sort of a cult? Is Judaism a cult? I'm actually part of an alternative Jewish community for the last 17 years. But the, the point that I want to say is that there's a whole range, and I actually gave you a blow-up of a graphic. I don't know if you're going to use it, but... Mm -hmm of ethical influence and unethical influence. And the idea is that one can look at specific behavioral components and determine whether or not it's a destructive cult or a benign cult or a constructive cult. So the word cult in and of itself tends to be pejorative. But you asked me, is Judaism yeah. a cult? The answer is there are Jewish cults, for sure, and there are lots of other Jewish temples and affiliations that are not destructive cults. So and what so, would you consider them? Them meaning... The positive ones. The positive ones. I belong to Temple Beth Zion in Brookline, Massachusetts. And Powerful Brookline. You, I you know would that. I grew, appreciate I that my, my rabbi wrote the big book of Jewish humor, and he was a comedian for most of his adult career. He became a rabbi later on. What's and, his name? Uh, Moshe Waldox. And he cracks jokes even during Yom Kippur. Hmm. And he's my kind of rabbi. It's not, it, it's gay friendly, women centered, social justice, but we love to sing, we love to chant, we love to daven, we love to do What's good a daven? Davening is, is religious prayer. Oh, okay. Going through the Siddur and learning Torah. I love to go to the Torah study. It, it resonates for me. Uh, in terms of my spiritual path. That said, I've also studied Buddhism, and mm -hmm. I, I have a teacher who's teaching me a Korean form of meditation and movement. So, so you would you say you're uh, by doing this, uh, be, being involved in an organized religion, an ancient organized religion, and a sect that you feel is positive? Would it be just more of a community of philosophy and maybe just a, a, just a, a nice group of people that Well, like it is a nice group of people, philosophize? and we are independent, although we're influenced by the renewal movement of Zalman Shachter Sholomi, the name of a, of a spiritual leader rabbi who passed away, who basically said, and he liked to smoke pot. He talked about, like, updating the traditions for the modern time and that we need the whole point is growth and connection to other beings in a loving compassionate way it's not about being exclusive it's not about putting other people down to be on your path it's about um awareness and consciousness that we are not into guilt and shame we're into joy and love and laughter and helping one another that sounds very ideal as far as cults go I, th I think so. So it's a cult. It's just a really good one. It's a good... Um, some people in Boston call it a cult, and I'm like, I'm a happily say I've been there for 17 years from the very beginning of his, uh, his invitation to become a rabbi there. See, this, it's so weird to me that you're like an <laughs> anti-cult guy, but this is clearly, um, at the very least, a very strong ideology with some pretty rigid sort of classifications of things. Is that, is that fair to say? I mean, Judaism as well, I the, practice it. The one it. that you, yeah. Hmm. So I'm <laughs> raised in a Jewish family. We don't believe in Satan okay. at all. Do you believe in God in the Jewish family? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, I believe if in you, God. But hold on. If you believe in God, then you have to believe in the God of the Bible? Is that what you're defining God as? Now you're asking me to define what I was believing as a child, yes. as a conservative Jew. Yes, I yes. guess so. The God of the Bible. Yeah. Well, there, isn't Satan in the Bible as well? No. No. There's, Satan's not in the Bible. No. Not in the, not in the Torah. Not oh, in the well, that's the Torah. The, the oh. New Testament was an invention later.